In this example, we'd like to put together a simple boiler system. Uh, the first thing I'd need to do to do that, of course, is to put myself on the steam toolbar, which you can see I've done here. And uh, the, to start the process off, let me just put a steam boiler in. And let's just zoom in on that a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, the next thing I would do is put a steam imposed load in. And then to kind of make the system work, let's go up to the connection toolbar here and grab the connection arrow and then connect the outlet of the boiler to the end of the load and the out of the load to the end of the boiler. And I also know that I'm going to need to put a, a, uh, a condensate return pump on here. So let me just stretch the pipe out a little bit there, place that on there, flip it around so that it looks uh, right, so it's the right orientation. Now we have a basic system built there. Um, before I go any farther, I'm going to click on, double, double left click on the pose load, uh, go into the pose load's property, and let's click on the component flow, put a thousand pounds per hour there, not 10,000, just a thousand, push OK, and we have a kind of a, a system start functioning here, uh, data passing back and forth between the pipe and the components, and then let's, uh, let's put a PRV in. And you can see the default of that PRV is to, to take it from whatever this boiler is providing it, which just happens to be 80, down to 15. In fact, we can click on that PRV and look at that a little bit. Uh, if we go to the flow pressure tab, we can see that we've, we've got it set down to 15. You could just as easily set that to 20 or something like that. Push OK, and you can see that the pressure, of course, changes there at the imposed load. Uh, finally, what I need to do is I need to have a steam trap in here. It's not going to work without that, so I'll just place one right there. And now you can see the, the simple steam system is built. I have my boiler, I have my load, and all the other components built there. And let's now insert uh, steam pipe sizes. I do that by selecting all the pipe and then right clicking on it, go to, go to steam pipe annotations, hit diameter, and then all the sizes do appear on that. And that is the system built.